Setting up a home lab environment can be very intimidating. It's my attempt to show you an example of a home lab environment that does support VLANs. First, I begin with my modem. I replace my existing Xfinity modem with an Aero Surfboard model SB8200. The external internet connection for my ISP will come in via the coaxial cable, and then that will pass through one of the ethernet ports that then goes to my firewall. Next, for my firewall server, I have a Dell Micro 750. It will run the OpenSense firewall software. It only has one physical Ethernet interface, which will connect to my modem for my ISP slash external internet. For my internal internet or my local area network, I'm going to use a USB to Ethernet adapter. So first I'll connect the Ethernet connection from my firewall into my modem. And then I plug in my USB to Ethernet adapter on my firewall. And that completes the first part of connecting my modem and firewall together. Next, we have a managed switch. This will be used for specifying VLAN tags for our specific ports. I'm gonna use a TP-Link SG-108E. I'm gonna connect my firewall into the first port on this managed switch. Next, I use a Raspberry Pi 5 for my home lab DNS. This will also have an ad blocker. So I'm going to connect this into port two of my managed switch. I'll also set up a Samba server so I can use this one terabyte of external storage. For my virtual environment, I'm gonna run OpenSense on an additional Dell Micro 750. I'll plug this into port three on my managed switch. My smart lights will be controlled by a hue bridge. I'll separate this from my LAN by putting it on port eight on my managed switch, which will eventually get its own VLAN tag. Next, I have my unmanaged switch. This will be used for my regular LAN network, such as my desktop, PS5, and other devices that need ethernet connections, including my Wi-Fi. I'll plug this into port seven on my unmanaged switch. And that completes the physical hardware setup and connections uh, for my home lab demo environment. 